Hey, Cobalt here. This is going to be my second tutorial and it's going to be on preferences in animation. Now, in animation there are a lot of different preferences. You have your frames per second, you have your canvas, and you have your stick construction or how you draw your stick figures. Now, a lot of different people have different preferences for all of these. They like to have their frames per second at different rates, they like different canvas sizes, and they draw their stick figures differently. I'm going to go over basically what you should do to figure out what your preference might be or get on a, the road to finding out what your preference is before you start animating. So I suggest deciding first of all what canvas you'd like to use. Um, you can just use the default. I like to use um, 550 by 250 because I like it to be kind of wide. Now another thing that's really important is frames per second. Now people use a lot of different rates of these. They use 12, they use 18, they use 24, and they use 30. These are probably the most used types and by far the most used is 24. And if you think you can handle it, 30 is also a good one to try out. Now, I'm just going to choose 24 because that's the most used one. And now that you know what frames per second and what canvas size you're going to use, you're going to want to um, start drawing your stick figures, find out how you want to construct them. So turn on your onion skin, and now comes the next part, is picking your tool. You can use brush and you can use dots for heads like a dot like that just the second brush size at 100 percent zoom or you can use diff a larger dot if you'd like you can go to different zooms i mean there are all kinds of different head sizes you can use now for line tool you can pick varying thicknesses while for brush tool there are only a few so for starters you should try animating some things with line and then with brush and then decide which tool you like better and then worry about how you're going to draw your stick figures with it. So I'm going to show you real quick a stick figure done with each tool. So this, the zoom that you use, you can use 200 or 400 but one of them that isn't actually on there that I find very useful is 300. I like to use 300% zoom for a lot of my things. And now with the line tool, you can make the body of your stick figure. And whenever you draw stick figures, there are tons of different styles that you can use, but I think the most used is probably to do each section of the arms and legs separately and to add a small foot at the bottom. But I'm not going to go around and say that that's the one you should use or anything like that because I've seen people who just animate by just drawing regular stick figures like this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's more about the animation than how you draw your stick figures. So you could use line tool like that. You could use a thinner version of line tool. Now for brush tool, you could use uh, the second brush and do your stick figures like that with a slightly larger head. You could do them like this, which is one of my personal preferences, is to use the second brush at 100 and then at 300 to use the second brush for the body. There are all kinds of different ways you can draw your stick figures. Another style that I used to use a lot, and I still do if I like, is either the third or second brush, and just to draw the head on each frame. That's another thing, is how you actually animate the stick figures once you decide how you want to draw them. A lot of people will go to each frame and they'll just redraw the stick starting with a either a copy and paste head which you can make a symbol by clicking F8 and naming it head or something making a movie clip and then all they do is every single frame for their animation they take it and they drag it over and then they draw the body for their stick figure. This is a very um, well used style. Others that people use, I've heard of body first, where you draw your body for your movement, so you redraw your body for animation, say you want to stick figure just to walk or something, and then you go back and start at the first one, and then you add on the head and the arms and the legs. And this this can be really changed and varied. You could start with just the body and the legs if you want. 
and then you could do that every time and you can add to it and you can change it there's so many different styles and really you just need to find out which style works best for you and um, another example of a style you might want to try to use is uh, head first it's kind of like body first except what you do is you just simply animate the head so for your animation you'll start with your head here and say you want an action of a stick figure just walking across then you'll hit F7 to go to another clear frame and you'll just do another dot with the head slightly moved forward and then you can animate your action you can draw the body you can go through and animate your stick figure with that head and as I've said there are plenty of different styles and I'm not sure if I explained this earlier as well but what I meant by drawing it by each joint is that you'll have the body your forearm and I mean you'll have each section of your arms and each section of your legs and then you just connect these with the head now obviously you're not going to draw them like this and then take them and drag them together but you're going to do this by just drawing the body and then you draw each one separately see now this is just probably the most used if you're trying to get this kind of style of stick figure you don't have to draw them like this you can just if you like you can just draw it all in one brush stroke see so um, really style is something that you should figure out yourself but there are plenty of styles you can try and experiment with I hope this video helps you think of some